Bullseye B195, March 21st, 1982. Time to shake your booty. Hurry back, Charlie. Making me sick just to make the lousy bucks. Got the feeling like a fool. During the upcoming weeks, these are some of the celebrities who will be playing Bullseye for their favorite charities. From Happy Days, Linda Goodfriend. From Trapper John M.D., Brian Mitchell. Comedian Joanne Worley. Actress Lynn Redgrave. And funny man Harvey Foreman. They'll be playing the game of strategy, daring, and luck. They'll be playing Celebrity Bullseye. Now, here's your host, Jim Lynn. Thank you all very much, and welcome again to Celebrity Bullseye, the show where celebrities play against each other and win money for their favorite charity. And Charlie, would you please introduce our two wonderful stars? Our current champion with winnings totaling $4,600 from Happy Days, where she plays Richie Cunningham's wife, meet Linda Goodfriend. And her opponent with winnings totaling $2,400, the star of Trapper John M.D., where he plays Jackpot, meet Brian Mitchell. Wow. And welcome back to Celebrity Bullseye. Linda and Brian, going well? Got a good match here? Let's see. Linda, you have $4,600, and that all goes to whom? Who's your charity? Special Olympics. Oh, uh, what a great group, and they can use every penny of it. Yeah. You have a chance to make some more. And Brian, your charity is the Foster Parent Plan. That's right. And you have $2,400 already for them, and more on the way. Let's get right to the game, okay, because this sets a good one. In our game, our players uh, accumulate money by correctly answering questions. First player to bank $2,000 or more wins the game. Player to win two out of three games wins the match and then goes on to play a new player. Now, so far, Brian, you have won one game, so you're one up here. When our last show ended, there was $200 in the pot, which is yet to be claimed. And, Brian, it's your turn to go. The contract was for three questions in the category about zoology at $200 a question. There are still two questions to be answered. You answered one and two to go, then we'll pick it up right there. All set? Yes. Okay, here is your next question. It is the only species of deer in which both sexes possess antlers. Is it the red deer, the gazelle, or the reindeer? The reindeer. That's correct, it's the reindeer. You got it, very good. Santa would love you. Yes. All right, Brian, one more, and you wiped out this contract. Completed, I should say, not wiped it out. That's not a good way to put it. <laughs> it certainly is not. Uh, this, this is it. This animal family includes the llama, the dromedary, and the alpaca. Is the family the antelope family, the bovine family, or the camel family? The camel family. You're right, and you have completed the contract. Good start, Brian. All right, there's $600 in the pot now. Brian, it's your choice. You can bank that money for foster parents, or you can leave it there and play on. If you bank it, I remind oh, you again, control zips over to Linda. This is real tempting. You know, something is telling me to go on. All I'm right, going to keep so, it in the pot. All right. Huh? All right. Go, go. All you right. leave the money right there? Yes. The yes. money stays in the pot, control stays with Brian, and he decides to go on. Brand new contract. Let's spin them and cover them up, and when you're ready, Brian, Hit the button and see what you get this time. Bodies of water at $300 a question. Quotable quotes at $500 a question. And the contract is three. Which of those two will you try? Well, let's see here. Quotable quotes looks like it might be All right, quotable quotes will do it. If you complete this contract, you win the match because this is worth $1,500 and there's already $600 in there. Good luck. You're three questions away from being champion. This American hero boldly replied, I have not yet begun to fight. Was he George Washington, Andrew Jackson, or John Paul Jones? John Paul Jones. That's right, John Paul Jones, and you have another 500 in the pot. Now, Brian, you are two questions away from winning this match. In his first inaugural address, this president assured the American people that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Was he Woodrow Wilson, Franklin Roosevelt, or Harry Truman? Franklin Roosevelt. Right again, and you're one away. 
All right, we're down to match question. Answer this question, and you're the champion. And Linda, all you can do, I guess, is stand by. Stand and, here and look nice. Yeah, look pretty, you like you always well, do. All right, no help on this one, please. And listen carefully, Brian, because this is for the match. In March of 1942, this American general flew to Australia, where he spoke of his reluctance to leave the Philippines, promising, I shall return. For the match, was he Patton, MacArthur, or Eisenhower? MacArthur. You've won the match! Oh! Yeah. You got it! Like well, Linda, as you said, you can only stand there. You, you, he decided to go ahead. Something told him, and uh, it worked out. However, the money you've accumulated is nice, and I know Special Olympics loves you. We love you, too. Thank you. $4,600 for Special Olympics from Linda Goodfriend, who is their good friend. Thank you very much. And, Brian, you picked up another $2,100 for Foster Parents Plan. Brings your total $4,500 for Foster Parents Plan. And we'll be right back in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Celebrity Bullseye. Brian Mitchell is the new champion. Brian, one of the nice things about uh, winning a match, you can go over and play the bonus game. Are you ready to join me? I think so. On the flying bonus island. Here she comes. Let's go. <laughs> oh, stay out of the way of the bonus island. Yes, definitely. Yeah, let's settle down now. And here's how it works. As you know, behind there, those uh, spinners, behind them are bullseyes, various amounts of money, and there's lightning. But it's only behind one of them, somewhere lightning spinning around. The idea is to get bullseyes and money by hitting this button. You can stop it, get three bullseyes, one in each window. We'll double the pot. However, should lightning appear, and again, it's only in one window, nothing here. Okay? Right. Let's make some money for those foster parents' plan. Spin number one. Let's go. Get that magic touch. Come on, jackpot. Hit the jackpot. Yeah. You got to get it down nice and... All right. Here we go again. All right. All right, jackpot. Hit the jackpot. There we go. Oh. Now, if you... See, the first time was the one. That was the one. That Son was three bullseyes God. behind there. Well, I'll tell you what happened. Nothing, really. You didn't lose anything because you hadn't accumulated anything. But the $4,500 you get to keep, that goes to Foster Parents Plan, and you get to meet a neat lady. Go on over there and grab your spot, Brian, as champion. Oh, yeah. And Sally, would you please tell us who our next celebrity challenger is? Singer, actress, and comedian, meet Joanne Worley. Hi, Joanne. Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? Just fine, thank you. I hear you're doing a Hello, Dolly. Uh... Yes, in a Long Beach, at the oh. Long Beach Civic Theater. Oh, that's such a great part. You're perfect for that. Well, yeah, you know, I was Carol Channing's understudy when it first opened on Broadway, so I, I know the words. Uh, <laughs> I, how about the melody? Do you know the melody? Yeah, I know the songs, too. All right. Well, it's nice to have you back on Celebrity nice Bullseye. Who are you playing for? Uh, actors and others for Animals, please. Oh, great. That's a great charity. They're helping a lot of pets and... We're going to just start right off. Brian, you are the champion, so you go first. We got all new categories up there, so we'll spin the information on the board, get it covered up. And Brian, hit the button when you're ready. Good luck. Let's see what happens. Here we go. About physics, $300 a question. Hot luck at $200 a question. And the contract is for. Which do you like, Brian? Which one of those are you bad at? You are Joanne? so good. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he is. Take physics, big guy. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Yeah, you want physics? I ended up with it, that little light, so I guess I got You're going to take physics. Hey, you know, I mean, what can I say? A beautiful lady tells me to take physics. I... All right, you're going to go with physics. You're going to take advice from Joanne Worley? Yes, sure. He is. Yes. I All am. right, let's see how you do. There are four <laughs> questions here. In physics, this scientific term describes an area from which all matter has been removed. In electronics, it describes a tube from which most of the air has been removed. Is that word void, vacuum, or cathode? Vacuum. That's correct. It's vacuum. There you go. Welcome, my face. Three to go in the contract, Brian. Here's the next one. Physicist Marie Curie won her second Nobel Prize for her discovery of this chemical element. Was it uranium, radium, or cesium? 
radium. That's correct again. You got physics <laughs> wired. You're doing great. All right, two more and you've got the contract completed. This is the proper term for a mixture of metals, such as brass. Is the proper term alloy, isotope, or acid? Alloy. Alloy is correct, and you've got one to go. I didn't know you knew so much about physics. <laughs> I never even took physics. Answer this, you've got the contract completed, Brian. Police scientists often use this branch of physics to study the behavior of projectiles. Name this branch of physics. Is it ballistics, rocketry, or aeronautics? Ballistics. You're right, and you have to <laughs> the Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. All right, Brian. Thank you. Of course, dear. $1,200 in the pot. Do you want to bank it or leave it in there and play on? I want to bank that. All right. The money goes to Foster <laughs> Fair Flag. Control you goes over it. to Joanne. All right, warm up, Joanne. We're going to spin them and cover them up, and you get to hit and pick them this time. And? There we go. In U.S. Geography, that's a visual category. By the numbers, $200 a question, and the contract is, again, four. Which do you want to try, Joanne? Let's try U.S. Geography. All right, this is a visual category, so I ask you both, turn around and look at our maps back there. Each question is worth $300. The total is worth $1,200. There's your first map. Joanne, its Indian name means father of waters. Name the state. The state is Louisiana. Ooh, not no, right. it's, yes, it's right there. No, I'm sorry, that's not correct. Control goes over to Brian. Brian, name the state. I believe it's Alabama. No. Oh, oh, please, no. Please. Father Why of waters. Mississippi. Oh, that's poor. Mississippi. The long Mississippi. One. Control goes back to Joanne. Oh, boy. Can let's, I have the other category? I guess I don't know no, about that. No, you can't. Let's, what you will get is another map, though. Let's take a look at the next map. It's 1850. Congress named this state for the Indian tribe that once lived there. Name the state, Joanne. Utah. Yeah, Utah is right. All right, one down, three to go. Next map, please. Take a look at the next one. I hate and now, the visuals. <laughs> name this large western state, Joanne. That's Mr. Nevada. You got it. Mr. Nevada is the place. Doing fine. All right, two more to go, and you've got the contract completed. Next map, please. A, st <laughs> a student in this state can study at Tuskegee and relax at Muscle Shoals. Name the state. The student or the state? <laughs> uh, well, okay. you get extra points for the student, but we need the state. Mm -hmm. In that... Uh... Alabama? That is Alabama. Oh. You're right. One more. All right. If you get this next one, Joanne, you have the contract completed. Let's take a look and see what it is. Here we go. It's a southern state and a commonwealth. To complete the contract, name that state. Gee, all that? All that state there, yep. Uh, British Columbia. Wait, no, I take it back. I was just kidding. I... <laughs> I'm making a little joke. <laughs> Pretend joke, uh, you know how they say. What do you think it is? I think that is, um, golly. This is a southern state and a commonwealth, and it's not British Columbia. What is it? Okay, thank you. Is that North Carolina? No, it's not North how Carolina. How embarrassing. And control goes over to Brian. My, really? Brian thought it was North Carolina. Too. That was my <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian. He thinks it's the same answer. thing. Brian, if you answer this correctly, you oh, have won the first no. game. Oh, why did you pick this category? All right, what is it, Brian? I need British an answer. British Columbia. British Columbia. <laughs> um, um, I don't know. I'm South Carolina. No, Gosh. it's Virginia. Oh, Virginia. Thank Virginia. you for the Virginia. present. Oh. Control goes back to Joanne. We'll take a look at another map. Maybe you'll know this one, Joanne. I hope so. For many years, automobile license plates proudly proclaim this state the land of enchantment. To complete the contract, name the state. Okay, when you go out of Texas, you go into uh, Texas through... Um, okay. I need an answer. I know you do, darling. And uh, I'm doing my very best to come up with one. I know you are. I'd love to change this category more than anything in the world. I'll say it was... What do you think it is? Give me a clue. Make it an issue. Horsey stuff. No, not Wyoming. Don't you do that to me. I need an answer. He's cheating. I need uh, an okay. answer. It, it's, um... Let me see. Here's California. We're driving, and we go through Texas. Time is up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I thought you'd never call Brian. time. Brian, you can win the game. What I is that I state? I this right. I believe that is New Mexico. It is in New Mexico. Oh! All right. $2,400 more. Brian, $2,400 goes into the Foster Parents Plan Bank. 
Joanne, you get to start the next game. All okay. right, and we'll be right back in just a moment. Don't go away. We'll return. <laughs> Promotional consideration provided by Popeye's Famous Fried Chicken for that original New Orleans flavor, spicy or mild. You're going to love that chicken from Popeye's. Also, when you've got anything that sticks or squeaks, reach for WD-40. It makes things work smoother, last longer. You can do it yourself with WD-40. Plus, treat yourself and your family to a high-energy start with a breakfast, including wholesome, delicious golden griddle pancake syrup. Also, a 22-piece Master Mechanic Multi-Drive socket set from True Value Hardware Stores, who combine value and personal service in over 5,000 locations nationwide. Once again, Jim Lang. Thank you very much, Charlie. And by the way, starting with our next show and continuing through the upcoming weeks, you'll be seeing some choice shows of Bullseye of the past season. I hope you enjoy them. And now let's continue with today's show. And Joanne, you get to start here. You're one down in the games, but you can come back. I know it. Let's spin them and cover them up, and let's see what happens. You have a choice of Latin America, 200 a question. Fairy tales at 300 a question. Ah, oh, princess, and the contract is three. Oh, the princess takes fairy tales. All right, princess. You have to answer three questions. Here's your first one. According to the tales from the Arabian Nights, it was Ali Baba's hometown. Was it Baghdad, Basra, or Cairo? Baghdad. That's correct. Baghdad. Ali Baba lived there, and you have two to go. Here's your next one. In a classic tale, this mischievous rabbit was the brother of Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. Was his name Peter, Hoppy, or Bunny? That was Peter. Peter Cottontail. That's for Peter Rabbit, I, I mean. hard questions. <laughs> that was a good, strong Peter there, that boom. Yes. Had his... All right, you have one more to go, and you complete the contract. Okay. Although these two German brothers named Wilhelm and Jacob were serious scholars of the 19th century, they are most noted for their collection of fairy tales. Was their last name Carol, Anderson, or Grimm? Grimm. The brothers Grimm, and you've done it. You completed the contract. Very good. Now, Joanne, do you want to bank the money or leave it in the pot? What's your choice? Boy, I, I really want to uh, get something in the uh, pot for Actors and Others for All Animals, right, so, so I'm the, going to bank it. And the give money the goes to your control. charity, Actors and Others I for know. Animals. Control goes to Mr. Tough Guy there. Brian, you're in control. We'll spin the information again and get it all covered up, and let's see what you come up with. Good luck. Oh, Wait till there's cover. There you go. Now you can hit it, Brian. I get just so excited here. I know. Take geography. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Popular novels, $300 a question. About people, a visual category, 200 And the contract is only two. Which will it be, Brian? I shall go for popular novels. All right, popular novels. It is worth $600. Here's your first question. Here's the plot of a bestseller by Irving Wallace. Writer goes to Stockholm for Nobel Award, becomes involved in spy plot to kidnap scientists. Was this novel The Prize, The Enemy Camp, or The Spy Who Came In From The Cold? Oh, boy. One more time for the titles, please. The Prize, The Enemy Camp, and The Spy Who Came In From The Cold. The Prize. You're right. It was The Prize. And you have one more to go to complete the contract. Absolutely, yes. Here's your next one. In 1973, Erica Jong had her first bestseller entitled Fear of Flying. In 1977, she published a new novel. Was it No Longer Afraid, Gonna Fly Now, or How to Save Your Own Life? Uh, how to Save Your Own Life. That's correct. It was How to Save Your Own Life, and you've completed the contract. $600 in the pot. Will you bank it or leave it there, Brian? I think I shall bank it. All right. It goes into the bank for your charity. Control goes back to Joanne. Let's spin the information again on the board. Get it all covered up. And Joanne, you get to go again. Here we go. Latin America, $200 a question. Fairy tales at $500 a question. And the contract is one. One question. Uh, would have been nice. Wouldn't that have been wonderful? Which will it be, oh, Joanne? Oh, please, Mr. Fairy Tale. at $500. All right, this is for $500. One question. This author created the characters of Hunka Munka the Mouse, Mr. Tiggy Winkle the Hedgehog, and Mr. Jeremy Fisher the Frog. Was the author Lewis Carroll, Beatrix Potter, or Hans Christian Andersen? Beatrix Potter. You're correct, and you have $500 more in the pot. All right, Joanne. You want to bank the money or leave it in and play on? Let's get that for actors and others. All animals, right, please. that goes in the bank. Control goes over to Brian. And we'll go away for a minute, but we'll be right back. You stay there, please. Well, we're out of time, but as I said earlier, during the upcoming weeks, you'll be seeing some choice shows of Bullseye of this past season. And 
I want to thank you on behalf of all of us for having become members of the Bullseye family. I want to thank you, Brian. Congratulations. Brian, you got some money. Joanne, you got some money. You got a kiss. Mm, that's worth every minute of it. And I hope that everything in your whole life hits the Bullseye. Bye. Promotional consideration provided by easy to use 12 inch free pasty wall covering squares dipped in the water, slip into place, cup washable square squares, and 24 colorful patterns. Also, come up to Pink Champagne, new shape of pleasure, very special. Light bold, sophisticated pink champagne from Iro Iroquois brands. Plus, from across the Pacific comes Hawaiian Tropic natural tanning lotions and oils, plus this Hawaiian Tropic float, Hawaiian Tropic, the tan of the islands. Also, be everything you can be with Mary Kay Cosmetics. Skin care and glamour cosmetics presented to you in your own home by trained beauty consultants, Mary Kay Cosmetics. Celebrity Bullseye is a Jack Barry and Damon Wright production.